Welcome back to Plant-Based Kidney Health, everyone. Michelle Krosmer and Dr. Hoshby here, and we are heading into summer and the hot months, so this is a very relevant question. Um, Dr. Hoshmi, are electrolyte packets safe for people with chronic kidney disease? Yeah, this is such an interesting topic because, as, as you know, there's a lot of people who are athletes who might have kidney disease who take these, I can tell you... Um, on my own part, I do use them when I go for jujitsu training. I'll mix it in my water because it helps me with my recovery and cramps and so forth. But in terms of patients who do have kidney disease, there's a few things that are in there you want to be aware of. So remember the whole idea behind Gatorade is, is if you take salt and you take sugar and you put them together, they help the water to essentially get inside your bloodstream and your body much faster. So you'll find that electrolyte uh, packets, they'll have all sorts of different things. But generally speaking, they'll see that a lot of them have some type of B vitamins. And so B vitamins from a kidney perspective, we're not too worried about it as far as that goes. They are water soluble. It really, really takes an insane amount. So you're not going to overdose on them by taking a packet. But it can, certain B vitamins can upset your stomach. Some people can get diarrhea from them if they're not used to it. So just be mindful. Number two is, is the thing that we do worry about is the potassium content. Some of them also have salt in there. And so that's where it becomes a little bit tricky is because as you know, potassium in the blood is a concentration. It's the amount of potassium in the volume of water. And when you're dehydrated already, and you're adding a concentrated dose of potassium, that's where you have to be careful. So if you have advanced CKD or if you're on dialysis, that's where we would want to make sure that we have a way to see how high the potassium is. Remember, high potassium can cause arrhythmias, can cause your heart to stop and can cause death. Now, that's not to scare everybody from the packets. It's just that there's no way for me to know where your potassium would rise to if you do end up taking a packet. So in other words, the salt and the potassium are the two things in most, not all, but in most of the um, electrolyte packets that has me a little bit concerned. But the other stuff that's in there, that's just there for, to help you out. And the B vitamins specifically, those aren't an issue. So Michelle, first, any thoughts to add on to this? And two is, you know, what else can someone do in terms of eating or drinking if they don't want to go the route of electrolyte packets? Yeah. Well, I mean, my other thought on it would be, like you mentioned, Gatorade is a lot of these sports drinks are loaded with added sugar. You know, they can have just as much sugar as, you know, drinking a soda, or they might have artificial sweeteners or non-nutritive sweeteners if they're like a zero type one. And so I just would want to reiterate that there's a big difference between an athlete needing to um, rehydrate and someone doing, you know, a 30, 45, even 60 minute workout um, where if they can hydrate with water, um, you know, before and during and after that's typically fine. And again, it depends on how hot it is and are they exercising outside and the duration. But I think a lot of times people think like, oh, I, you know, even jogged for 30 minutes and now I need to have this. Usually that's not the case. Um, but regardless, there's, there's always options of of course, I'm a big fan of like make it yourself at home. Um, there's even recipes you can find online where, you, where um, again, potassium will have to, you'll have to adjust based on the potassium needs because sometimes these things could be 500, 600 milligrams of potassium, but it might be water or uh, unsweetened coconut water with some sort of fruit like watermelon. And you can add salt into that depending on, um, you know, if you are losing an excessive amount of salt. So I would honestly say for the general people and especially with kidney disease that aren't doing very intense um strenuous exercise then make sure you're well hydrated with water you can eat fruit and fruit that meets your individual needs and then most people consume excessive sodium and they're not losing that through their workout but if they are then at least you can control some of those electrolyte packets can have like a thousand milligrams of sodium in one packet and then some of them might be like 200 300 and i think that's such a huge difference so you'd want to look at that and hey can i have minimal added sugar and then sodium potassium based on um you know what stage and what needs you would you would have and Dr. Hashmi, a question I had for you, I, I feel like it's kind of related, but um, I had someone tell me that their blood sodium level was low. So their doctor told them to drink Gatorade. Um, but I feel like, I mean, Gatorade even isn't even super high in sodium or potassium. It's more super high in sugar. So it's, 
is there any case where someone with kidney disease that has a low blood sodium level should have some sort of like sports drink or electrolyte packet? Well, we just give them salt tabs. So if, for example, you have <clears throat> SIADH, and so essentially when, when you talk about hyponatremia or low sodium, it's either you have low sodium truly or you have too much water in the body. Right. So this is where the first treatment is, is we will actually tell people to drink less water because it's a concentration. So we're trying to reduce the denominator, which is reduce the total volume of water in your body. And then number two is, in some cases, we add on salt tablets because of the fact that they help. So, you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense per se to give them Gatorade. But, you know, if you need to just give them some salt tabs and that does the trick. So you restrict fluids. And you give them salt tabs. In some people where there may be risk of dehydration and so forth, you can't restrict the fluids too much. We just add on the salt tabs by themselves and monitor for high blood pressure. Got it. All right. There you guys have it on electrolyte packets and supplements and kidney disease. Thanks, Dr. Hashmi. Thanks, guys.